Hey guys, this is going to be a very short video this week because my body has decided that now is the best time it could possibly pick to contract the world's worst cold. My moustache is glorious. So, um, there hasn't actually that much to talk about this week because I spent most of the week lying in bed feeling like death. The only footage I have to speak of is me working in the library, incidentally, sixth week is suit week, and me going to visit university parks because at the moment it's looking very autumnal and very pretty. University parks is one of the things that I can go into for free. In fact, anybody can go into for free. It's owned by the uni and maintained by the uni and you get a sport happening there, like uh, lacrosse. Uh, this, was, this was Blue's lacrosse match that was going on up there. Realised it was probably a bit creepy me turning up and just filming girls in shorts, just like, you know, I was dressed in a suit as well. I was like dressed in a suit filming girls doing lacrosse. Not actually like that. I was just getting a picture of the park the girls happened to be in the way. Actually, it was on that day that I bumped into Andrew Wiles of Fermat's Last Theorem fame. He's teaching. Actually, I don't know if he's teaching. Well, he's at the uni at the moment. Uh, he did his undergrad here and he's back as a... I think he's back at Merton College. Might be wrong. But it was strange because I was watching Fermat's Last Theorem the day before and then bumped into him in, like, just outside uni parks, which is a bit strange. But, hey, Oxford. So, yeah, I do not have the energy <laughs> Uh, to do a proper video this week, or to be honest, the material. So the room tour is going to have to wait till next week. Though, if you have a hankering to see what an Oxford room looks like, I direct you to the already excellent room tour that was done by another Oxford YouTuber called Jamo Mills, uh, who is a second year PP student at Magdalen College. So check out his video, which I'll put a link to in the description, uh, or you can probably click somewhere on the screen, I'll put a link. Uh, which you should definitely look at because he's going to do it a lot better than I will ever do. Now, next week is my seventh week vlog, and it's the penultimate one of the uh, of the series. And I want to do uh, a Q and A session in at some point, either in seventh week or eighth week. Most likely eighth week because seventh week is going to be hell because I already have to do a lot of work. And I'm going to have to do last week's worth of work as well. But at some point, I would like to do a video about interviews like questions related to Oxford interviews, so please leave in the comment section below any questions that you have about the Oxford interview, whether that is my interview ex experience, what it's like uh, to do a general interview, anything you should bring, what you should prepare, leave a comment and I will do another Q&A type video. I'm asking this because I'm actually helping out with interviews this uh, season in Oxford at St Peter's College, so uh, I thought that if I could get people's common questions now, that's my phone. I thought that if I could get people's common questions now, then uh, I'm, I'm better prepared for, for helping people with interview and you, the audience, are better prepared as well. So whether you're going to be coming up to Oxford for interview this year or in years to come, leave a comment and I will do my best to answer all your questions. Right, I'm going back to bed. See you next week.